This is Hall's Grist Mill. The water power grist mill stood here as early as 1824 on the land owned by William W. Hall, who had acquired the property from John Hall in 1809. William Hall operated the building to sold it to Harrison Hall shortly before the Civil War. Hall's Mill, which appears in Robert Mill's 1824 Atlas of South Carolina, was destroyed by a flood in 1828. The present mill was built by C.W. Stokes. 1929. This is in Lee County. This mill was built in 1929, was operated by Hall descendant Archie Hopkins when it was closed in 1965. The first floor included a general store which served as the center of Lucknow community for many years, while the second floor was reserved for the Masonic Lodge. Hall's Mill, with its original equipment intact, is an excellent early 20th century grist mill. And this is Black Creek. Look at that lily pad. I bet there's some fish in there. Yeah, that's the mill pond. This is Hall's Mill Pond. And this is Black Creek that runs through here. We brought the fishing poles. I like this. Spooky looking. And there's the back side of the grist mill. Hall's mill, and that's Black Creek. Man, you can make a booger movie back in there. Old Bigfoot, Lizard Man. That's a spooky looking pond. There's all kind of stuff in there. You can hear the water running through it. That's an amber colored water. Lee County is famous for its cotton and tobacco back in the days. I worked in the cotton and tobacco fields in Lee County and Dalton County when I was a boy. A long time ago. It's a shame that you try to preserve this place.
Look at the grist wheel and stuff in here. That's for the gates. All grit now. God, I hope somebody preserves this place. Lee County, South Carolina. 